Greetings to you and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Hope you are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change your language in Microsoft Word. Okay. So it doesn't really matter um, whichever language that you speak. At the moment, I do speak both English and French, for instance, and um, sometimes. When I feel like switching to French, I just change my Microsoft Word language to French. When I feel like switching back to English, I switch back to English at any point in time. It's not just limited to English and French. If you speak um, Arab, for instance, if you speak um, Filipino, Chinese, Russian, Korean, you know, Dutch, German, Italian, Swahili probably, I'm not sure, you know, you should be able to switch from every language that you want to any other language that you want. So without much ado, let me show you how. Uh, basically, all I have to do is, um, let me open Microsoft Word, okay? So to open Microsoft Word, I just simply search within my search menu here. And then I type word, right? So just type word, it's already here, right? Just double click on it. Now, when word opens, I just open it this way. And as you can see, currently my word is in what is in English. Supposing that I want to switch to French, how do I do that? If I want to switch to Arab, if I want to switch to, you know, Russian, you know, um, whatever language that I want to switch to is very, very simple, all right? I just click on File, then I go down and I click on Options. When I click on Options, I actually have over here language so i click on language and currently these are the languages that i have okay so as my that i could just define as my preferred language but i could add multiple languages okay by the moment i do have what german french and english okay so assuming that i want to switch to french all I have to do is to click on select French here. And then I click on what set as preferred, as preferred language. Okay, so set as preferred. Once I do that, I hit okay. And they are saying what? Um, please restart office so that your language changes can take effect. So I simply click on okay. And then I close Word. I can open Word again. And normally my Word should be in French, as you can see. It's now in French. Assuming that you are not looking for French or English, but you want some other language, okay? I will show you how to add that, okay? So let me go back to File. And then I come to options and I click on language once again. And this time around, I will click on add. Let me switch back to English, okay? So that um, since the tutorial is in English, it will make sense that I switch back to English and then I'll show you how to add a language. So let me select English, just click on. In French, we say define as, you know, defini comme langue de par défaut. So define as default language, hit OK and OK, close Word, come back to Word. And normally my Word is back to English. All right, perfect. Supposing that I now want to switch to 
a particular language that does not exist already in uh, the, like that needs to be installed okay the language i can install any language so how do i install additional languages you know because you could see clearly that when i clicked on file and clicked on options I clicked on language you could see clearly that i only have the option to choose among these four languages or the three languages but i could add more so to add more languages i just click on add language here and then i choose the language for instance if you are in bangladesh then you could choose bangla if you are in you know belarus then you could choose belarusian you could choose arab you could choose chinese you could choose danish you could choose um from these languages over here you know malaysian norwegian um swedish you know i was talking of swahili unfortunately they haven't added swahili but most of the language ukrainian you know vietnamian i think uh you know you could choose from any of these languages right so assuming i want to add let's say um which language should we add let's try to add for instance um i want to pick a language that is similar to english just to make sure that i don't get um lost with the buttons you know i want to pick a language that is we could just pick any of the languages so let me pick let's say um let's pick chinese for instance no chinese will be hard for me to read you know anyway let's pick i'm trying to see which language i should pick i'm just trying to see which language i can pick let's pick chinese for instance okay i'm sure i just want to see how weird it's gonna look so let's pick for instance simplified chinese I hit on install so it's saying what you know just go ahead and hit ok and then the installation is in process ok it seems it's already downloaded all right so i could just what click on continue but they are saying that before you actually click on continue uh we need sorry we need to close the following apps word okay so since word will be closed as soon as you click on continue then you make sure that you have to make sure that you save your work so you could just minimize this all right you could even choose to cancel this or just say okay for instance for now because this is still here all right and it's still running so if so assuming that i was working i wrote a couple of things i could just save my document control save or save as whatever then after saving your work you can now what uh, restart you can now click on continue because once i click on continue it's going to close with so if i should click on continue Word will soon be closed, and then when one uh, uh, when Word opens up again, automatically it will come in the new language that you've just added. So let's wait and see. When Word opens up, it will come in Chinese because I chose Chinese. it's opening up perfect you know now my word is in chinese i can't even read chinese which is going to be a whole lot of struggle for me i don't know who, who pushed me to do this anyway it's very very simple as you can see thank you so much for watching and i hope you found this helpful please remember to subscribe 
hit a like button and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.